Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. My name is British Brad, and we are continuing our attempt at doing a Beacon Grand Slam run. Now, we are finally on Act 1. If you saw the last episode, we or Act 2, we beat Act 1 finally. Uh, so we are now moving on to the lungs. Now, the lungs are scary. Let's take a look at what makes the lungs so scary. This is... A lovely cheat sheet given to me by Mariner Hawk, who is another creator uh, for Darkest Dungeon 2. You should definitely be checking them out. And they made this lovely list that basically just coincides. This is also on the wiki and everything, but it basically just shows you all the buffs that the different acts get on the beacon. And so this is the buff that we're going to be dealing with. The front lung is dealing 17 damage. The back lung is dealing or needing 13 damage um, is the amount to get the tokens to be removed and it gets a burn armor, though a low percent chance for it to proc. Um, if you are burning, uh, your block is ignored and your move resist is ignored. Uh, Sundering exhal Exhalation removes the flame, so it lowers your torch every time it gets used. It, of course, has more health, more damage, and higher speed. Uh, burn dealt is at a higher duration, and it does have a higher piercing value. So. A little scary to say the least. Um, this is the team that we're running. It is, of course, the same Vinito, team as we had before. Hi, Schlebby. Good morning. Um, so we have the Flagellant, who is still going to be a Wanderer. I think this is just the best way to play him. He's going to be our primary tank. Um, we do have memories as well. We should take a look at those memories while we're here. Uh, conditions. So we've given him additional speed. We have our Banneret Crusader, who's going to be moved more up into rank two now primary front rank damage dealer uh he's gonna be with the strength token are we gonna have enough back row damage it's going to be very close zen to say the least uh we have a sharp shot highwayman with additional crit and we have our alchemist plague doctor with the move resist so i don't know how well this is gonna go obviously my primary thing is to try and get our damage numbers so that we're doing 13 and 17 damage reliably but that's going to be very tough to do. I don't think we have those numbers realistically without some very big trinkets. We'll have to see. I think this is going to be a hard uh, hard bump for us to get over. Um, and of course, you know, Onward. if we lose here, we go all the way back to Act 1. So, um, cough? Uh, yeah, sure, I'd love a cough. I have a homemade cough, but I would love other cough. Because we have a problem with caffeine. A change in the air. A change in the air. But hey, I appreciate everybody's support recently on uh, my new Bellatro series uh, on YouTube. If you like that game or you just want to support me a bit more, I'd really like it if you guys could go watch those videos because uh, it helps out the algorithm. The algorithm kills anything that isn't Darkest Dungeon 2 on my videos uh, because, you know, that's just the way it rolls, you know? Um, just to, let's kind of get some damage numbers here and, and start kind of... Well, cough, just a regular black coffee would be fine, love. How much is that game? I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, let me take a look, huh? Um, I don't think it's too much, but I cannot recall. It's also on Switch, which is really nice. I think, it, I think it's a great Switch game. It is $15 for that game. Okay, let's go ahead and bulwark here. We do have uh, evasive, which is going to make that we do get some good value out of that. And then, you know, I know we're not getting the more and more value, but we don't really need it right now. So let's just put some damage down where we can. Of a what? A what now? They're both dead, so let's go and get this going. Uh, he does still have the additional taunt, so I'm not super worried here. Good dodges, excellent. Definitely going to be leaning into that Bulwark of Faith a lot, I think, with Evasive, as long as we have Evasive. Um, now, Sanguine is also very nice, but I think Evasive might be better. The downside to Evasive is relationships, right? That's five damage there. You see, we're really not doing the damage uh, that we need to be doing here. Greatest gaming console of all time. I've never heard of whatever this is. Um, eight damage. Eight's a high-end roll, so we could probably get to 13 on him with crits and... 
uh, strength tokens and things like that. But yeah, seven is a high end roll up here, so it's gonna be tough. Make happen. Um, we're not gonna get any value out of doing anything here, so we'll just go for the kill. We shall be fed for long. We sure shit will. We, we sure shit will. Burning all right, we do lower mastery points, of course. Uh, the Blight Resist is fine. That 1980s Twitch hat is pretty... I can't remember if I bought this at TwitchCon or if I bought this elsewhere, but this is one of my favorite hats. I really like this one. Stop most comps from working well in the Grand Slam. It is probably... Um, I would say even more so than Act 3 these days. I think it's one of the ones that's the most restrictive as far as, like... Um, you, you have to hit very specific damage numbers in order All to win. Yo, oh, Super Crackers, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Three months. That is very hand. kind of you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Um, because it's so specific with the damage numbers, like, you have to hit them. I think that makes it one of the most restrictive. Like, it's one of the ones where you're really, like, trying to, like, min-max your team to get those damage numbers. Because if you get hit by those Sundering Exaltations, I can imagine with the plus 40% damage, it just wipes your team. Um... And that's, you know, I think we just absolutely have to avoid that. Um, okay, two and mastery return. points is very good. Less flame is annoying, but I think we're okay for the sprawl. I also think we are okay to take on the librarian with this team. Um, we do have Plague Doctor and things. Depending on what Adventure we can get, fair, we might be okay. Um, now, see, things like Gnarly Knuckles and stuff, it does go very well for us. Um... To dots, it does so much damage against. Yeah, the lungs are immune to. Call, yeah, so really, it's annoying. It's an, it's annoying to say the least, right? I am tempted to go reanimate a rabbit again. That's some good trinkets here, though. First of all, let's get the beacon before I forget. Um, thank you, Wikia. Thank you. Uh, it does if you are burning. So if you're burning, it will ignore block and it will ignore uh, move resist. Widow and Dor yeah, we want the damage, we want the crits, like, we want all that stuff. I mean, Gnarly Knuckles is a good option for us to get, help get Crusader where we need him to go, but so is speed and food. I think we'll have other ways to get his damage up. I think we should go for the speed right now. I think that's, that's going to be our number one, uh, outside of other obvious things, is going to be getting our speed to a place. Of course, we end up with two slime mold. Let's hope we don't get a disease. Um... We'll buy some more stuff probably, but let's let's just kind of get our team where we want them right now. Uh, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage. We're not gonna be dealing with much blight here, but we'll take that. That's fine. His bleed resist is already very low, so I don't think going from ten or twenty to ten is really uh, bad. Um, so let's go ahead on the wane right. Let's get the rabbit on. If it is to carry you where you must uh, torchlight go. on and this on. All right, so we've got the beacon. Learn We're all set up there. Um, and you may stand just a little taller at the I end. think we upgrade more and more. I think it's just too much value to not upgrade early on. And what do we upgrade outside of this? Play grenade, noxious blast. We could also wait until we get a bounty hunter before taking on a lair. That might be a good strategy for us to kind of work with, depending on how we how we're feeling. Last play grenade. I'm tempted to upgrade play grenade for the, the damage because it is just very good. Smite being upgraded could also be really good. Reap also gives us some options though. Are we generating any combo? Uh, not really. <laughs> Get the additional taunt. I mean, taunting is also very important. Um, being able to kind of swap off taunt will keep our squishier heroes from getting hit too much, which is really good. I'm going to upgrade Play Grenade. I think this is probably the best bet for us right now. I, we'll see. All right. So let's take a look at what we have here. I think Burn Salve is going to be really good for us here. Um, stimulating Poultice is something that I think we're going to want because we have a high likelihood of getting trinkets that require high speed. And right now we're not at those thresholds, right? So... That's probably going to be something we want. Um, 
I don't want to lower health on anybody, even at the cost of speed. Uh, let's get some token denial. How are we doing on... Uh, there's nothing that I really want to get rid of. So I'm not super worried about that. So I'm going to grab the whiskey Something as a to way to help us at the, the next road. inn. We have a pretty good setup for that. And then let's go for... Those two have the highest disease resist, so we're going to give them this, that, and then here, and here. And then we'll put on that on the quickest person, that on the next quickest person. We're going to save this for when we have a trinket that needs it to proc, and we're going to go for it and see how we go. I'm glad that uh, this doesn't have a relationship modifier, this torch, because getting like early super negative relationships would be so, so annoying. I'm scared, man. Like the further we get into this Behold, run, the more scared I'm going to get because everything is a land. risk, right? On this Ruined. a hospital and a flame ordained relationship. So like this has a pretty good likelihood of being death, right? Or at least death. Well, no, she can't spawn after that. Um, could be a warlord, you know, whatever. She can't spawn on road fights. Region 1 Librarian again? Potentially. Potentially. We'll, we'll have to see how we're feeling. Um, getting the early Librarian is not a terrible option with this team. We have a, a good amount of Blight generation and things like that. Um, so it could, it could be a very good option for us, for sure. Um, I'm just going to go with Acid Rain. That works out in our favor. Six, She's dead anyway. Go ahead and Bulwark at this point. And she's dead. He's Okay, let's, let's not just... Uh, God, four damage, man. When you see those numbers, it's like, oh boy, not great. <laughs> Early results are encouraging. Get another week unnerfed. I know, right? She has, she has continued to survive. I almost kind of want to power through this just so we can make sure that she continues to live. I do have emboldening vapors. This isn't a terrible thing for us to have. I think we switched it off because of the uh, the locks over Mag Rain. Um, it could definitely benefit us, right? Like, we could do like this. We could see kind of what the numbers are with this. I mean, this is unupgraded, so I don't know how effective it would be, but... Um... Yeah, he didn't get hit, so I'm not really going to heal much. Might as well take a little bit of damage. There you go. Have more regen, I guess. So, okay, we can get up to nine with that, but that's a little waste of a turn, right? So, you know, is that actually doing anything? Mm, debatable. Hey, he's got really low bleed resist anyway, so. Man, I, look look how little damage we're doing right now. It's, it's scary, man. Good on Alchemist and Surgeonist. Yeah, it's not. I wouldn't say that it's not that they're, or it's that they're not good. It's just that there's better buttons to press, right? You're just using up a, a turn to do something that isn't really optimized for the build that you're going for. So this is a great time to use double tap here. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get him down enough, but we'll get him down on second shot there. My guy is a little stressed out right here. Combo generation, get that smite up. Yeah, definitely. Combo generation would be really strong for us here. You're absolutely right. In this world, wealth is allowing us the ability to purpose. slam down a, a combo token every now and again would feel really good. Uh, so that's that would be a good option for taking like sluice or something. Doesn't feel optimal. Yeah, exactly. I, I think you're totally right here. I think that's just not the play for us right now. So, or just a lucky roll, Jinx. I've seen crazier things happen. Would not be against it. I don't know if a region one lair is really within our purview right now. We had Bounty Hunter last time we took the region one lair. I think we kind of want to hold out for Bounty Hunter again. Minus 25 torch for 
supplies and food could be beneficial for us. We could skip, then go to this assistance encounter and hope for a little additional torchlight, and then kind of go over for this combat. What do we have to avoid? Do we have to avoid the hoarder, right? I think is our um, our modifier. I'm gonna take this and five mastery. Yeah, exactly. Find. That's a good find for us. That's good food. All right. Um, avoid the hoarder. So we we don't want to lock ourselves in that direction. I say we go left here. Oh god. Of course nobody wants to go. If we go that way, we don't. We lose out on two mastery points. It's not worth it. The stress is whatever. I'm gonna get our torchlight back up. Let us temper Move this, this way. world's cruelty just a little. Oh, man. Coffee is good. Let's see what we got going on here. Plus 45 torch. Plus 30 torch in combat items. That's good for us. We want... Even if it's not a great combat item, it's something. It's healing salve. That's fantastic. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, so we've got quite a few healing items right now. That's a good good start as far as items go. Okay, question mark, question mark, question mark. We should go for the question mark on the left. Clean to around the house? No worries, exactly. Good luck with the cleaning, my friend. Now, this many assistance encounters is a bit annoying. We're, we're losing out. You know, we do get two mastery from the region modifiers, so, like, that's not the worst thing in the world. We, we should get three mastery points from this region. Um, five would be optimal. If we can get five mastery points, that'd be great. Kyrogen is almost looking like a good option for us at this point. You Getting a polling apron on uh, flag could go a very building. long way. 12 relics for multiple in items and 30 flame. That's almost all our... No, we want to save some of that. We still get uh, something out of that. Songbook of Dirges is good. That's a good item. Oh, hello. Um, I'm going to go for the hospital. An elementary problem, is it not? Hey, level chef, how's it going? Welcome on in. Oh man, that came right around the corner. Sometimes those fights, they, like, they really hit you around the corner. And that could have been like a warlord fight or something like that I wanted to prepare better for. Um, you know what I mean? So like, a little scary when that happens. Ugh, this is unfortunate for us. I think we're going to want to lean into more and more, more than anything. I'm going to take advantage of his evasive though. And we're going to reap here. Just to eat up that repost. Um... And then we can go with more and more here. We're probably going to... Well, we are going to get front mortared at this point. So... Um, healing tokens, doing a little bit of damage. That works. Act 2 out of curiosity. Right now, it's it's just trying to find a way to get the, the damage we need reliably for the token removal. With... Um, yeah, we just need a way to get uh, the 17 and the 13 damage. Outside of that, I don't know. Uh, it's not looking great. I will say this is not the most ideal team. Yeah, the repost on the dogs. I mean, they, the repost is a 30% uh, crit chance, so it's it's pretty brutal. Oh, it's annoying that went through the 60%. Yeah, again, I just eat the repost on him. That's fine. Yeah, it's one dead. Yeah, I'm going, I'm taking this fight a little too fast, probably. I need to slow down a bit. Any being, however horrid, can be brought to heal. Not dead quite yet. Let's go ahead and use the this. Small foundation of trust. All right, just taking nine damage, ten health. Um... sticks that should be enough there we go and 
fantastic. And do this. Okay. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Uh, let's just go ahead and lower stress while we're here. Not that I don't, like, mind him going toxic per se, but we don't... Right now, it's not an ideal time for us to have that be happening. Conclusion. Um, I don't want to use that burn self. So. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. That was a rough fight. That was not great for us. No mastery, some items. I mean, we'll take it, obviously. I'm not going to not take it. I'm not going to say no to this stuff, but not great for us. Okay. What do we got? That was our fight. Uh, hospitals here. What do we want from the hospital? Burn, uh, burn poultices are going to be ideal for us at this point. That's going to be the thing we need to hoard if we can. Um, Ruined by riotous contempt. Please have my bread. <sighs> no, nothing for burn. Um, and obviously, burn salve is definitely useful. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Melophobic, I am going to erase. It's going to stop us from being able to use a songbook. It's going to stop us from using quite a few good items. Which boss are you going for? I don't know yet, is the answer. Librarian would, would be a, a pretty good one, but we're just we're, we're just not doing well enough right now to have taken on the Librarian. Um, with this team, we could do general fairly reliably. Can we survive long enough or do enough damage quickly enough to survive and not get, like, um, absolutely destroyed? Ugh. Debatable, to say the least. Um, I'm going to save a little bit of my money here. I don't think this does anything else for us. The Getting rid of Melophobic is just, I think, beneficial. Now, here's an option for us. Do we take Kyrogen? Kyrogen's a rough mini boss. It could pay off really well, though, for us. A, we get mastery. B, we may get a way to remove diseases um, in the form of leeches, um, which could come in really beneficial if we end up snagging a nasty disease along the way. And we could also get apron, which would be pretty helpful. It's risky, but I think it's probably... You got to take some risks. I think we're going to gamble for it. I think we can take on the Kyrogen fine. Um... I don't think it's really that big of a deal, but it's going to be a slog of a fight, to say the least. Okay, well, this could end up being pretty bad for us if this is a warlord, which it's unlikely still, even with... All right. And this could still be good for us. We may just have to see... Hopefully, we can avoid Kyrogen at this point. Let's see. All right. We're going to get more and more. We need him to be eating damage Woo! early. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what no, I'm it's about. not what Woo! I've been waiting for. No. It is the big boy. The war lord himself. Dude, you gotta dodge those next time, huh? And this really does anything for us. We'll just go. We're just gonna bulwark here. I don't have an easy way of negating. I should have thrown on double cross. This could be a run ender for us. Absolutely. No robbery? I don't have robbery now. I don't have it equipped. So. Doesn't do much for us right now. One damage here. Oh, 
Suffering begins. Well, that's not good. And that's doubly not good. Okay, slow down the pace. Alright, we're still alive. We got a regen. Okay, six bleed is a lot. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and more more. We'll let him eat the crit. Got a bit of regen. We got a heal here. Okay. We're alive. That's what matters. The flame is helping us out for sure. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Malaise. Measured and steady. We're doing good chunks of damage to this guy, so. Keeping ourselves alive. God damn, his damage output is just insane, dude. It's crazy. The iron juggy, yeah. We're just gonna keep swapping the uh, the taunt though. That's really what we want out of this. The weakness is also... The weakness in combination with the block plus is so gnarly at times. Oh, right. That just gets rid of tokens, huh? That just, like... Okay, it's fine. We'll just eat the damage here instead. Yeah, it's not doing much damage, but it peels off two tokens for the cost of one... Turn, so I'm gonna use this because he's he's at risk of that being enough to really do some nasty damage to him. He's gonna do 20, and then he's probably gonna do another 20 here. Yep, 14. Wow, we got lucky with that. a foothold out of this mire now climb yeah 20 damage of that attack pretty reliably okay well we're toxic now so that's something My concern is that he's going to double hit into Reynold. 10 would put us up to 26. He can take one hit then. If he distributes the damage here, then we're this okay. Is no time to falter. He's also blighting himself every time he hits uh, Flag, so that's fine. There we go. An interminable conflict. Now we do have to think about the fact we do need to kill this guy up front. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Um, three, six. We'll go with this. The small foundation of trust. He has three turns of blight, so he will die to the blight eventually. But obviously, that's not. Ideal. It's double tap. This is what double tap is for. For peeling through these tokens. Alright, so that's him dead. Alright, he's done. He's out of the way. Let's bulwark here. Get the damage put into him and regen. Flag is dazed here. He's still gonna go. Incepsis. There we go. Alright. Okay, we had one meltdown. Um, but, I mean, on flag, so... Thank you. I appreciate that. 
Oh. Yeah, all things considered, that went about as well as we could have asked for it to go. I may need to just get rid of Duelist Advance and just let him stay in rank four. I don't know. It, we we don't get the option to use double tap then though when it when we want it. Are you even playing him right? I mean, it does it does depend on how you want to operate him. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Who got Vanquisher there? Did anybody get Vanquisher there? Ugh, this is this is like the worst thing we could have found, right? Like this is not It's not good. It's not great. I mean it's it's fine. It's just not like what we the want. Loathing abates. Did uh did we not even get it? Oh, uh, he died to dot, didn't he? Mm, damn it. Oh well, that's fine. I mean, I'd rather live than fight for it, you know. Uh, yeah, I think Dismas is probably the best person for this to go to. Uh, he's going to be getting the most kills, most likely, so at least we get the benefit there. It's not the best, like, thing for us to have found. I, w I wish we could have gotten Tropeum or, yeah, whatever. There is a hidden achievement for killing the, the uh, Warlord of the Crusader, by the way. You guys didn't know. I think it's a hidden achievement. Okay. And then right into this. Assuming that we can take the fight, are we in condition to do so? Um, I mean, we're not doing terribly. It is a risky fight, though. Let's see. Let's just see what our options are, huh? We can leave if we wanted to. The potential is really strong, though. I say we take it. I say we take it. Flag, Flag will be able to heal himself. Okay, so we're gonna get a big guy in round two. Uh, do I want the Warhorn now? Yes, because as much as it might be kind of like eating through this team very quickly, this is this team is gonna be what minces us up and causes a lot of problems. If we can get through that quickly, we'll be feeling a lot better. We can get a lot of issues with letting these guys decimate us. We'll let Flag kind of deal with himself. I No, I'm not going to use that quite yet. We don't need it. Let's not use it. I'm probably going to regret that, though, knowing my luck. Okay. All right, let's, let's use evasive to our advantage because we're going to lose those before uh, we get to the Kyrogen himself. So, amazing. Lots of value out of evasive there. She's dead. Into the block. Six damage. No, no bleed, no disease. Really good start there. Excellent. Um, I'm going to go for this heal here just so that flag kind of fully... Regen himself here. Uh, and then we go. Nice hit. Now, if we can get crits more reliably, that kind of damage is going to be exactly what we need for the lungs. Annoying resists across the board there, but this guy's dead. Uh, I'm saving more and more for the next uh, round. This will also let us open with a, uh, a repost next time, which is which is nice. Damage. That's unupgraded smite. So we we do have the damage, probably the potential. Um, we're just gonna have to unlock it, right? Oh man, the resists are kind of gnarly today. So I mean, seventy-five percent fly resist obviously is uh, the enemy. We is gonna cause us some problems. Win. All right, so we get the repost now. He dies. We do get our turn here, which is nice. Um, let's focus this guy. I'm gonna bulwark here. We're gonna let him eat the damage initially. At least it's not a ghoul. Yeah. This guy can deal an awful lot of damage, though, but yeah, the ghoul is bad overall. Yeah, that's okay. 
We have regen that'll pace it. We'll go ahead and heal here. Help impeccably timed. Incremental, but deadly all the same. All I care about is getting rid of the patient right now. The patient is a priority. Flag will be able to take care of himself next turn. Okay. Patient is not dead. Okay. I was like, I, I was like, I'm speaking too soon if I say anything. Because he's just going to end up pulling the patient forward or killing him or whatever. 10 damage. Can I do... I don't think there's a way for me to get him... Get the 11 damage into him. Even if I double tap him, I need one to crit. Right? He's going to he's gonna hit with a crit either way, I think. So the question is, what do I do otherwise? Do I go for... Grape Shot Blast and hit these two? Do I just take aim and go for the crit? Thankfully, we have regen, and he didn't get a dot off on him. But that's fucking scary, bro. Lowering healing received is something we should probably be... Like, Reap actually has a lot of value here. I didn't really think about that reality. Okay. All right, we're still, we're still here. We're still cooking. He's going to block him up anyway, so whatever. As long as he doesn't get a heal off on him. This is no time to falter. God. The removal of taunt is so annoying. The taunt mitigation really puts us in an annoying place. Let's just keep lowering the amount of healing he receives. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. Minus 40% healing received, and he healed 18? What? What is that number? Does that not affect that ability, or, or am I crazy? That's insane, dude. That's a crazy number. But deadly all the same. He's no. Sweat soaked brows. Unsteady. I guess it exhaustion. Fuck, dude. He hard counters so many dumb things. I will say this fight initially was really fun to me. But it has lost a lot of its, like, fun over the months of playing it a lot, you know? Debuff is just a suggestion. I guess so. I guess he can just heal him for whatever the fuck he wants. Keeping more and more up. This 20 damage from my lapper. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Hi, love. Morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Yeah. Bad? Did you not wake up to my coffee? No, I did not. Oh, that's I'm sorry, love. Thank you for the coffee. All right. 
Okay. Um. It's just fucking annoying. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Fucking hell, dude. Just want this guy to be dead, please. Man, I... Get rid of him. Oh, man. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gains. All right, now it's time to bleed ourselves a lot. More regen. Come off of it. Terrible precipice. At least, he, like, as long as he has regen, he's fairly not killable. Yeah, stress. Yay. Speed. I know this guy's ordained, but bro. This is no time to falter. This is why I say this fight is annoying, because it, it it just becomes like such a dumb like uh sit here and just try to take a hundred damage out of this guy. <laughs> Yeah, he hits like a truck, consistently. It's one of his flaws. <clears throat> this is why killing him first is, like, never an option, because he just ends up, like, just doing so much BS. So much self-healing. I mean, I might as well force him to go toxic. It's not a great option, but it's an option. This goes to show that this team is very survivable, which is a good thing. Like, we're, we're, we like that. The enemy Reset the cooldown on Sepsis, which is nice. Basically ignores toxic, but whatever. Now 
Man, what a slugfest. Get him out of here. All right, was all of that <laughs> worth it? Probably not. I mean, the mastery point alone is probably worth it. Hey, we do get aprons. That's good. Uh, we get Physician's Guild Seal, which is also nice. Um, gives us a nice little buff, a uh, little regen, additional healing given. I wish you had the ability to pick when you delivered these, but, like, yeah, you, you get what you get. Um, I don't really care about him having this anymore, because at this point he just kind of ignores dots, so... All right. Okay, let's uh, let's hope we can get some healing here. Our relationships on flag are bad. I say the least. We're gonna need to try our best to fix those if we can. Do we have any money? We have six relics, so we're unlikely to be able to fix any of his relationships. I don't know how we ended up with only six relics um, at the end of this region, but hey, you know, we take what we get. We get what we're given. I'd rather not. Uh, taking this fight seems risky right now. It's going to hit our torchlight, though, but I think taking the fight is risky. This is still only region one, right? <laughs> I mean, all things considered, I guess, like, this could have been a lot worse, but... Two mini bosses, and we really didn't get anything great out of it. I mean, like I said, a falling apron is nice, but our relationships are gonna take some time. Bounty hunter in to get rid of the flag. That would be an interesting play, to say the least. I think. Yo, what's up, Max? How's it going? At this point, I should have gone with Scourge. How many times have we gone Toxic already? We've already uh, he's already had a meltdown too, right? So, like, yeah. Love that. Good job, buddy. Some regen is definitely nice, though. It keeps us, like, feeling very good. Ten. He's dead. What did he get a strength and a crit token from? Well, okay. Crit token's the ordainment. Right. I'm on act two. I gotta remember that that's the ordainment now. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Oh, more! stop doing the AoE hits and you do like the regular hits, that'd be great. I'd appreciate it. Malaise. Measured and steady. Six regen though. Can't complain about that. I probably should be doing more damage than anything, but a master stroke. That guy has effectively ended himself. Itself, I don't know. Let's cure off those dots. Get those out of the way. At least has been tended to. Just for you to get them back. Get 
get the kill here. Yeah, six regen, still very nice. I will take that. Uh, we'll just battle heal here. This team has good survivability. That I will give to it, but the damage right now, the damage right now is not good. Okay. Easy peasy, nothing like a little natural crit just to get the day going. Hey, I, you get a natural crit, I get a natural crit. That's how this works. And there's our third toxic. So relationships are pretty much out the window at this point with flag. Does Lung have token generation? Um, yes, block tokens. The enemy weakens and wanes. All no, Forging Gods, thank you for the five months free subscription. Coin in hand. Look at all the people forward. subbing today. Look at all those lovely Found emotes you get to use. Hey, if you've got those hard emotes, let's give some love to everybody subbing today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Five months, that's crazy. That's crazy, crazy. That's a long time. Five months already? Uh. All right. Well, I mean, we end up with four mastery out of that. Uh, five mastery out of that. So, like, that's pretty good. We do end up with some interesting trinkets and stuff like that, but that was not as stacked a first region as I was hoping. The biggest issue that we've got right now is definitely our relationships. Our relationships have taken a huge hit with three toxics and one meltdown. Too many bosses out of the way. The Warlord is done. We can no longer run into the Warlord. Um, so that's good. Um... Who said something about... Oh, we also get the mastery from other stuff. Well, who said we'd roll into the Jinx? Uh, Warlord is once per run, yes. Once per run. Off guard, not great. <laughs> uh, that's actually very bad for us. But the Jinx, the Jinx is good. I, of course, would rather it be here. But hey, we can take advantage of that. Um, we do also have a Bounty Hunter. So that is something we need to take advantage of. Uh, we probably drop Flag. As much as I hate to do it, um, he's just going to cause a huge amount of problems with relationships. Um, well, let's figure out where we're going first, Rain, right? fire, and rot. There's a sleuth. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? We can roll the sluice again. It is possible, I believe. Um... But I think the right call is to probably go for the Tangle. I think There's we take on the General. Hey, Berryman. Um, we have the back row damage. I think we swap out Bounty Hunter for a uh, Flag and just let him do... We can do the upfront damage of him and Crusader that we need to just kind of chip away at the General while doing the back row damage of Grape Shot and Play Grenade. Um, I think that's going to be our option. That's going to be our best option right now. It's not great for general IMO. Do I need flag for general though? He, what is it besides acid rain, right? I mean, acid rain is nice, but he's, what else is he doing? He, he can't force the damage in himself because of the the tokens from um, stirring soil. So the big hits are just gonna happen regardless. We have the bat, we do have two people who can hit the back row reliably. Because a sharp shot grape shot blast has come hither just in case. Yeah, I I do think the bounty hunter. The problem with taking flag is if I take flag, he's gonna get two or three negative relationships. He's gonna force some really bad interactions on our team, um, and that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a big problem. We can work on his relationships right here, and then you know get rid of him. I think that's like we have things that can help relationships like songbook and stuff. Um, let's also take a look at what we've got going. We've got seven mastery points. When survival demands it. Um, 
we don't have any food items, which would be preferable if we could get a food uh, stagecoach item. So we did not get that. We do have some song. We don't have much money. Linseed oil also helps. Won't save your relationships. It won't. We have we have some things already bought though, so we can throw we can you know throw on songbook. Then we focus on crusaders relationships uh, with the whiskey bottles, and I think we just go from there. But I think we definitely have to get linseed oil. This is this is too good of an item for us to take on the general. Does double shot work on taproot? By the way, uh, I believe it does. Ballot, it should. It should proc it twice. Uh, be the same as using a combat item and a damaging attack. Um, so double tap probably has some good value there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I think that's gonna be our play. It's not the best play in the world, but it is a play nonetheless. Let's work on... Let's take a look at our relationships. Let's just use what we have. Um, and at least try to get them up overall. Okay, that was a mostly very good roll. Does it because it can't target four? Can it not target four? Yeah, you, you're right. You're right. Can't. Good call. Um, okay, uh, so now we don't care about his, we care about these ones. So, Bate and Zorthy. That gets them up here. 20% positive, great. Melophobic roll. We we already rolled Melophobic off once. I, it's not the end of the world. Right now, he's not going to be our, our problem child, so we just take what we can get. We probably save these um, since everybody else is just positive. Like we could, I think we can get like Swan and Zorthy. We can get up into a higher chance for a positive relationship, which is good. Um, and then there now we swap no on behind the hunter's mask. Only a terrible thought. I don't know if we take apron on anybody else, but we we take it just in case. The contract is sealed with a silent nod. Okay. Like, do I care about getting apron on him? Probably not, honestly. The speed reduction hurts, but. And what no tea trinket, yeah. Alas. For wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Uh yes, he does he does cause bleed. Now he causes bleed. Didn't used to back in the day. The problem with it is it reduces your healing received, right? So that would be my main concern about using it. Mud and rain, resignation and death. This land is truly barren. He's going to have Jinx now, so we definitely want to go for that. Get the potential for healing. It's going to be huge. Most violent two fairy alive. Valid. Yeah. Alright. This is scary, guys. I, I don't know how we are going to do against this. I'm going to keep the linseed oil in my inventory, though. I don't know if Appalling Apron is, is good. Like, I'm curious as like, if throwing it on the Crusader is a good idea. Because then he can, like, get additional regen. Um, we could give it to the Plague Doctor so she can give additional healing. But, you know, I'm ugh, unsure. Did we feed them? We did feed them. Thank you. All right. Um, collect Bounty. Come hither. Bodyguard is probably going to be one that we want, or stare down, sorry. Right? Yeah. Well, uh, guarding is also useful. Maybe we go bodyguard? Hmm. 
This allows us to take the damage from... Yeah. This allows us to take the damage from stirring soil if that works in our favor. I think that's going to be important for us. Um, and with Jinx, we might be able to get some stun value. So... Alright. Let's see how we go. Might as well keep her up, yeah. If we uh, we guard her, it should help us keep her alive. Okay. Oh man, it's scary. It's scary, dude. This this kind of run. War rewards only resignation. Hey, my Bellatro video is doing not terrible. So, appreciate that. Okay, where is the lair? Pyrogen, again? Is the lair like the last thing? Uh, we're not going for Kyrogen, right? We should definitely go. We, we will not be able to get enough relics to make that hospital worth it. Unfortunately, unless this is a cache. We'd have to get really lucky with that being a cache, right? And then pick up some relics on the way for us to lock in Jinx. That, I mean, that's unlikely. Um, more academic study locations. It's more likely an academic study, right? More than anything. That's doing okay. Yeah, I mean, it's doing okay for a non... I mean, it's got 33 views after a couple hours. For, for a non-Darkest Dungeon video, that's pretty good for me, but... I'm gonna... <sighs> I mean, it's the not. It's gonna be an academic study, or something else. Right. Okay, that's fine. I mean, at the end of the day, it's whatever. Right? We took the risk for it. I mean, we lost out on a fight. Maybe that's a good thing. That could be death. Who knows? So, get some, get some pancakes. Scouting. Scouting's big. This is a, a first node scout is, is nice. That lets us know what's up. There's a cache over there, which could be good. That can give us some nice region specific trinkets and whatnot. Push forward. Lamentably, All right, we're gonna go for the hospital. We're gonna take the fight. It's not gonna be a warlord no matter what, so that's good. Could be an antiquarian if it's, uh, you know, antiquarian is, is a higher. Heal, yeah, it could be an antiquarian. Chosen wisely. So like that's that's always an option here. Uh, let's get Pouch of Lie on. We have, like, no combat items. I, I don't really want to use Linsley Oil if I can avoid it. Um, do we care about lowering our crit for additional health? Like, do we... Sure. Not anti, so that's good. Hey, evasive, could you like work next time? I would really appreciate that, thank you. Damn, this team has managed to burn out like our whole whole team very early on. Lethality writ large. Huge crits. Doesn't want to visit us anymore. Yeah, Joe's like Joe's done with us. She's like, man, you guys suck. Man, that's that burn is like on her. That burn is huge. It's crazy. Accumulation. Well, that's a good resist, but she's still going to take a big chunk of damage here. Cooperation is the key. Let's kill him. The work continues. Good hit. All right. 
Oh, it's scary about flag. I don't know. It might have been the wrong call. May have been the wrong call. We'll see. I mean, 18 relics. I mean, it's good. This is, the hospital's she good. It's not a bad the thing. Utility of her work, but undertakes it nonetheless. Nervous is going to give us additional speed. It's, it's not terrible. I need burn salves, man. How would the burn salves not spawn here? Or not burn salves. Uh, burn poultices, whichever the burn ones are. This, I think it's soothing poultice. They does not spawn. <laughs> I always get the bleeding one. Can they not spawn at these? Maybe they can't, and I'm just being dumb. Um, mm, healing salve is, is nice, fine. We can also stack it higher, so like that's that's good. Cultist fight. Man, it's not terrible. Could be good for us. We could get something nice. We do have a dark impulse, so let's uh, let's see. Maybe we pull something cracked. The loathing festers. Also, anything that we pull is probably going to be really scary at the same time. Now we take the block and the relationship up. That's all good and dandy. And I don't know if we're going to be able to fix Flag's relationships. Highway robbery value? I don't have highway robbery equipped. <laughs> Should probably have it equipped. That's a really shitty start for us. As much as that's kind of a waste, she is by far at risk having any amount of bleed on her. Could you dodge that next time? I mean, I'm glad you resisted the bleed, but but. Oh, that you dodge. Gazes back so intently from the abyss. Nice double crit. Thank you very much. Okay, dead. Excellent. Fantastic. Love that for us. Love that. That's right. Hi, Schlebby. with them yet. Yeah, that's that one dead. Does she have regen for a second there? I, was I crazy? Did they give her regen somehow? The enemy weakens and wanes. Oh, 
Oh, Physician's Guild Seal. That's what it is. Right, okay. I was like, how the hell did she get regen? The work continues. I'm good at this game. I know things. Signed indenture. When moving ally behind... Oh, this is not a good trinket for us. We're not moving. That's the problem. We're not like... Um, I guess we could. Like, we, we could uh, throw him in rank two or three and, like, have him do some back and forth. But it's it's trash. It... it it doesn't do anything for us that we, we want to have happen right now, so. No, we're taking the cash. The cash is just too valuable. Man, I really wish we'd gotten a different Warlord trinket. That This is easily his worst trinket, in my opinion. It's just hard to line up kills reliably. And then, like, on fights against bosses, it, like, has no value because you're not killing anything until the end, you know? So it's like, oh, okay, cool, I've... I, what can I do with this now? Uh-huh. Isn't good in general. I mean, the minus debuff resist can be good if you're really going for like a, like a disruption debuff build, whatever, but My wealth and it's not great. Bundled into this meager pile. This is also not fantastic. Um, yeah, each hero on combat start has a chance to get a little I mean it's it's fine it's you know it's an item <laughs> it's an item of all time Money for order either. Shouted. No swords were drawn. There was only stupefying horror. Okay. And the Take the 16 rally that follows it. Could be good for the hoarder. The Not great for our torchlight, but reality once more. A psychic Oof. onslaught awaits. Um We can't do that, guys. I can't take this lair on. I, I cannot max out our loathing. There's no way. On this boss already, like I can't I can't do it. If I max out our loathing, we we're not going to be able to kill the take the tokens. It's just not going to be able to happen. God, that's unfortunate. I can't do it. So we just wasted a bounty hunter, essentially. I can't, I can't risk it, man. Smirking betrays a malign madness. Uh, and he had clenching claws. What study is it? Vintage Collection. Vintage Collection is also this way. I can't, right? Like, what does that buff the damage requirements to? If it's like 17 and 13, does that put it to like 19 and 15? Like, that's so much damage. Let's do the 69. Thanks, love. I appreciate your input. Very helpful, as always. <laughs> if I don't take on the lair... Except, well, I get Vintage Collection either way. It's Vintage Collection here and it's Vintage Collection that way. It doesn't That doesn't make a difference. I can avoid the Loathing and get Vintage Collection. I can't do it twice. So either way, I'm getting it. The question is, is it is it worth is it worth the additional health on the boss to take the lair when we're fa fairly well prepped for it versus potentially having to take a lair that we're not prepped for?
Because the... It's going to increase the threshold of damage that required to take out the tokens. I think, right? I think that's how it works. So I think the tokens are based on a percentage of health. They're not based on, like, a flat number. Anyway, all right. Um... Does he want Bugle? I, have the tro I don't know what the general has. You can't see what trophy he has until you get there. So, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, has eight, like, has any trophy that'll benefit us? He has a, right now it's less about what's gonna benefit us and more about what lair can we get through. I don't really care about the trophy benefits. They're nice, but. There might be trophies that are better for us, but they're we have less suited teams to take on, like the baby or whatever. And even then, like, I don't know which ones would be better. The immobilized one doesn't really do anything for us. Just say that. It does. It does help us not get kicked to the back if we're burning. Okay, we'll go for the lair. I we we prep for the lair. We we have to take it, you know. Like we we built for it. I don't think there's really anything here that helps us super much. Yeah, the dot the dot resistance one is nice. You're right. That one does help us out. It slows us down, but it's we're already gonna be fairly slow. Hey, Joan, how's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, we don't have to worry about exemplar yet, so I'm not super worried about that. Um. So you could still problem. prepare for it. I don't, I don't know. I think either way it's fucked up because I, I, can I prepare? I won't have the bounty hunter. Like I've invested a lot of time, effort, energy, and money into going for this lair, right? I don't think, I think either way we're kind of boned. doesn't really make a difference. Um, I mean, you can ask the question, Jun, but I don't know if I'll answer it. Just depends. Um, choice anyway, because there's loathing is going to go up in the future if we're not taking it. You're prepped for this, so might as well. Yeah. Sort of prepare for. But is, I mean, like, the question is, is it? Is it that much more dangerous? Uh, indecision is going to kill me either way. <laughs> Let's just take it. Fuck it. We prepared for it. I'm, I'm gonna take it. The loathing's gonna happen. Uh, it'll probably happen either way. We're still at three loathing, so it's unlikely. We're likely to get the loathing to max out one way or the other. The going to the end doesn't lower the loathing. So. What act boss do I dislike the most? Um. Probably three. Oh, that's unfortunate, though. That's not good. That I did not pay attention to. That could kill us. Okay. Increases their health. Uh, yes. Increases their health and all a bunch of other shit. Yeah, this this is not good for us. We don't get any benefit from this, so. Hmm. Yeah, and hasten too, right? Love that. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Crit token. Hmm. Any resoluters in chat? Hey Scrake, how's it going? Wishing you all the resolutes, of course. Thank you, thank you. We could definitely use a few. Early 
There you go. There's sec I mean, Securus could be very good for us getting the damage we need for the lungs. To be honest, that is like a thing that could be pretty good for us, but. You say well, what happened to him? Nothing. It's just the game. He's also probably not taking it as seriously. <laughs> Probably just goofing off playing silly builds, doing dumb. I think, isn't he doing like beacon, like monarch runs and stuff? Like, he's just having fun, that's why. Yeah, I'm just goofing around. Sometimes this game gets the best of you, even when you're trying your best, so. Hey, I mean, overall, we handled this fairly well. I mean, besides the fact we got, a, like, a metric buttload of stress. But, hey, you know, stress is stress. It's fine. Everything will be okay. Everybody will be all right. Nobody's going to struggle. I very rarely use that ability, so I forgot that he just, like, crosses his arms. Like, no, uh, uh you're not touching that guy. <laughs> a brilliant See, now, if I could do that damage fairly reliably, life would be good, huh? Into fuck it mode. I mean, yeah, that's what we're doing right now, right? We just said fuck it and, and uh, noble. went for some. Either way, I think we had a, we had bad options. I don't think we. I don't think I. I think either way, we're, we were screwing, getting screwed. But I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop that. I don't think either of those are really helping us right now. All right. But vintage collection is going to be very helpful. It can probably help us fix or heavily assist with a lot of flags concerns. This is the wines, that's the blood. Let's take the wines. I like it says whiskey. It's like world, that's not what this is, is, but okay. Hey, Clotter is is good. Plus 15% bleed resist is very helpful in this lair fight. Linsudol, is that on? Uh it should be on. Yeah, it's on. Nerf each move costs relics. Jesus Christ. Get out of here with that. Shenanigans. Those shenanigans don't have any place here. Guy does not need a nerf. People don't take him enough. Foul winds and foul tidings. Okay. No doubt the source is within. We have a lot of stuff going on here, so assuming that we can survive this. Okay, and if we end up in a situation where we're in low health and all that fun stuff, we leave. We do not frenzy. Keep. We do not take more than we need to take. The sanguine round start. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was like, I can't remember if it's round start or. Good crit. Excellent. Crit through the dodge. Mm -mm -mm. Good way for us to start off. Not enough, though. No gives 20% chance of extra action and kill right. You know that apparently removing 15 HP from library book set counts as a kill. Yeah, kill, killing the books counts as kills. Ship, ship proc for anything that has an on kill requirement. his like hit reaction is to, like grab his axe and be like hmm no I'll wait <laughs> I'll, I'll kill him another day <laughs> should have given bounty hunter repost just built in always reposting could have stunned but a kill is probably better oh right he can hit rank 3 because that's yeah 
Always forget these guys can hit rank three. Get the stress down. We gotta keep ourselves in tip top condition here. Now, this is where a stun could come in useful. What's the stun resist? It's pretty high base, isn't it? Yeah, 50% stun resist. Probably a dumb idea. Now you can hit my Plague Doctor. I like how Plague Doctor's the grenade does more base damage than one hit of the thing we do, Hickey. I accept, do you accept this wood as an offering? Yeah. I mean, burning wood is like a, you know, could be considered a decent offering. A simple variable. Sackstab still works on corpses, too. Resolved. I think Sackstab's the only one that works on corpses. Which kind of, I think, thematically seems to make sense, because, like, that would be like, he's, like, sacrificing something. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. This is gross. This is a whole lot of gross going on right here. Work. Physicians Guild Seal doing some absolute work there. God damn. Buff for this boss again. It is this. If you're talking about for the general, the general doesn't get a specific buff. The general just gets ordainment. After a power nap, I'm back. Welcome back. This will go away this next round. The evasive buff. Yeah, plus 40% health and additional damage. It's a nightmare. <laughs> no pun intended. expecting on guard for some reason like that was not the ability I was expecting to see I don't know why I should have he's being guarded well, that's not going to stop him. Repost uh, goes through guard, right? So. And double tap kills him. But also, so does him just naturally existing. I don't know. Kind of. I mean, we don't have anybody of execu execution or anything. Malaise. Measured and steady. I just don't want to get hit by that repost. Oh, he's going to go first, isn't he? He's not. Is there a way? Does he have execution ability on him right now? Just, I'm just trying not to take the hit here, but either way, he's probably going to hit us. No execution, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Whatever. We just take the hit. He's on death door either way. Like, either way, he's doing more damage, whether he hits us with a repost or hits us with something else. Empowered. Emboldened. Right. Okay, this is a really good one for us. On a Flagellant is going to go pretty hard with these. Um, and we get the safety of slumber. This is about as good as we could possibly hope for as far as trophies go and items and stuff. 
Um, we can do like reverberating readout and between him and, and Crusader, we have a really good setup here between Jinx, this, um, appalling apron, like all that stuff. We got some good, good things going here. So let's advance. Let's see. This could be the end of this, but like we take what we get, we get Locked what we're given. Nightmare slumber. He is 259 health. Real and imagined. My God. So he has immunity to stun and move. Obviously, low burn resist. Uh, his blight resist is low enough that I'm not worried about it per se. Um, yeah, let's just get damage in. Faith in yourself. We got this. We should be able to do it. It's just gonna be. It's gonna be a lot. is the key. First round, so we get the bigger blight. Well, we can. It's bulwark. Yeah, this is gonna be a. We're gonna have to really. The issue is we got rid of our most survive. We'd not through the dodge plus every single time. That'd be great. Chunking damage is big. This is stealth. That doesn't really do much for us. 18 and 14. Did not count the longs HP only in the main section. Yeah, but the main. Okay, maybe not. Maybe, we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see, right? So that's all we can hope for. Um, oh, twice, come on, back so intently from the abyss. Stirring soil here is not good for us. definitely the right call. Must not be very evasive. It keeps getting hit like this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're at the halfway mark. How dare you replace the goat gelin? I know, right? The Jinx doing Jinx stuff for us right now, which is great. You getting there, bud. You should still have one left, right? Yeah. To go to grape shop last. Good crits. Excellent. Nice. 
does more damage than other abilities have done. Highwayman is going to get hit hard here by uh, Stirring Soil, but... Waking Dead, whatever you want to call it. Sweat soaked brows, unsteady stances. Exhaustion takes hold. Crit. But you did get it. I did get it, yeah. 16, okay. This team was well built for this boss, so. We're gonna end up most likely getting a meltdown. We may avoid it. Um, he's on death door either way. Let's get the uh, the heal out of it. GG's. Close, but no cigar on the meltdowns. The spoils, an artifact. All right, that's the lair out of the way. Now, of course, we do open up Collector as now an option for us to fight. So we have to take that into account. Mm, he doesn't really get the benefit out of that, but then again, nobody does. So he doesn't get the extra action. He still gets the damage out of it. Thank you for the head pats. I appreciate it. Should have lowered some stress. I didn't really have the option to, per se. I mean, I could have maybe waited. Um, and he, the order of operations wouldn't have let my um, Crusader go. He would have died before that. So I don't think we really lost out on anything there. Get trinkets. Um, I don't think we're going to end up using this Almanac at all. How are we doing on in items? Got a good few items here. Everything, A lot of stuff to help relationships. We have... I'm going to drop the bread. I don't think we need that right now. All right. Best pet for the Tangle Trinkets? It's not, but it's... You know, we take what we can get, right? And we could sit here and be like, Yeah, that's not ideal. This isn't ideal. We still get good value. Plus, everybody's speed is going to be lowered once we put the trophy on, so um, it probably counterbalances to a degree. Yo, Toaster, how's it going? Flora, how's it going? Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Oh, it's going. It's going. We just took out the general. Um, as you can probably tell by our stress right now. So we're surviving. Excellent. Crits are helpful. Nice was he meanest did you? He gave us some pretty good stuff, yeah. We got clenching claws, reverberating redoubt, and his new trophy. Um, the, the slumber one, which is gonna be good against the Act 2 boss. Gonna really help us with our um, the slow suffering. Yeah, meltdown begins. on Bounty Hunter is fine. Free weekend all for yourself? Hell yeah. Good thing we lowered our stress here. Oh, he's out of position for that. I forgot he can't use that from that position. It's fine. Um, might as well just go for the stun. No! He didn't get, not only did we not get the stun, he got a crit token out of it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, video game. At least there's that. Yeah, Scrake, you got it. You, you, you called that. Crits left and bar. right, there we go. This is good stuff. Slow dissection. An unavoidable end. 
And while he's got that token, we might as well take this. Those vaults. It's a nice way to stress heal, isn't it? It's the best. God damn it. Can you stop getting crit tokens, my friend? Stupid buff. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Flesh from bone. For who knows what lurks in the hey, beyond. you know what, buddy? You do what you want to do. You misplay all day long. Lethality writ large. Oh my god, good job. That was a region of all time. This team is doing it, man. Sickening silence. I mean, we'll keep it. I don't think it's going to give us much benefit, but we'll keep it. Could end up being pretty good on Flagellant. Um, you know, but we don't have a disease, so. Does screw over Grand Slam? No, it does not. If Bounty Hunter dies, it does not affect Grand Slam. Assuming that nobody else dies. And if the game for some reason didn't count it. Yeah, Flag is the fourth, yeah. I would still count it personally. <laughs> I'd be like, whatever. I've already gotten my Grand Slam achievements. I'm good. But this is this is for the for the people. Rest now. This is just to tell people that I'm good at this game, so. Okay, we got the jinx again on the wrong person, but you know. Something. Resolute is not is not good. Resolute on the Are you kidding me? <laughs> Of course he rolls resolute on on the off chance that I went out of the way to get wine and whiskey and all sorts of stuff to so I could help his relationships and the game went no conventional fare I have but one meditative totem I can't get rid of it So I, I am no longer able to help him. We get unique reliquary, which is interesting. He's got Tipler and Resolute. Yeah, I don't know how those operate together. <sighs> Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere. Plus Flame Grain is in good for need. us. An accomplishment worth remembering. Hey Zeus, how's it going? <laughs> Can you give him another negative trait somehow and boot it? It wouldn't boot that one. It would boot Tipler. Wow, that's just that's just straight up garbage, man. That's so annoying. We're gonna end up with multiple negative relationships at this rate, likely at least. Is seventy percent chance Zorthy and we need to get this one up. Okay, that gets him at least into unfriendly. That goes down to 38% chance. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel about it too, Rick. Thank you. Oh, no, no. That's how no. I feel about him. Factorio session. With I still never played Factorio. For good things. Uh, and Batay and Zorthy. Okay, at least we're able to get him, like... We got him out of, like, the terrible terribles, you know? So, like, that's good, at least. The tainted crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. neck hurts all 
All right, let's work on other relationships then as we need, because everybody else is just gonna be their own thing. Uh, Bate Zorthy. Might as well try to counteract other negativities as we can. Thank you for the head pats. I do appreciate that. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. We do have a songbook. Could that help us? It's 16 relics for one songbook. Could that get him anywhere? I mean, it, it could also hurt us, right? That's the issue I have, is that it could hurt us. Try to use the totem to get rid of what? Tipler? I mean, I could get, like, it's not going to get rid of anything else. Like, it's only going to get rid of Tipler, which is fine. But if I had two totems, I would use it. I'm confused as to what it would it would roll that we could get rid of that I'd care about. Like, is is it money worth spent getting rid of Tipler? Classic music while doing his thing, probably. Because we can't roll off Resolute with it. Yes. Yeah, Totem will only get rid of the trait that's oldest. It will only roll the one that's touching the arrow. So it will not it'll not touch off guard, it will not touch resolute. That's how that works. It's the same thing when you use Skull T. Skull T will only roll this one and it'll only roll this one if it procs. Yeah. Um, man, I still haven't seen any burn self. <laughs> just super great. Uh, la, 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 la. We're going to be really slow as well, which is going to be a problem. I mean, it's not really a problem. We could also take a look at our trinkets while we're here, huh? Can you skull to hit reinforced quirks? It can't, no Zeg no. So if you if you have um a locked quirk, it'll go for the one above it. Safe scum the in item relationship rolls? I have. I don't I, I don't have anything against it, I just don't like to do it. Though I believe they have made it so that's less possible to do. I don't know. I don't save scum very often, so. Last in though, we still have a uh, oh, yeah, I did. Well, we have one more in before the mountain. <sighs> this is, I hope we, as far as relationships go, we've got them up to 30 and 18. Do we have anything we could, like, get rid of that will help with... Man, he actually rolled a resolute with Nervous. That's funny. What's affecting our relationship so much with these two? Zorthy has a quirk that's causing... Oh, it's evasive. That's what's doing that. Um, chance to produce restorative items. I mean, this is good. It's not really what we're looking for, right? It's better than anything else we got here. We, we at least might be able to spawn in some items that can help us out. We have the space Your coach must for it, so we might as well go for it. it is to carry you where you must go. Unless you, yeah, unless you change the in-item order, yes. It, it then will... Uh, it will mess up the seating, which is, you know, it's definitely one way to do it. How are we doing on stress? Everybody's low on stress, so I'm not super worried about using that. Um, I should take Meditative Totem, though. I'm going to take it just Something because it is good to have in case we do roll room. something that's really bad. Um, holy beads could be good for us. Let's grab the whiskey bottle while we're at it. Let's grab the whiskey flask while we're at it. Yeah, and we need to be thinking about our relationships in the in the future tense here. Gonna end up dropping 
the apples and cheese for now. They're very, very good, but we're going to end up using flapjacks anyway. Uh, so that gives us food for our next region. We don't need to worry about anything else. Do we want to use that wine on anybody right now? Is there anybody that this is going to like help us with? Hugely. Not really. Probably better to just save it if we can. Hey, back. How's it going? Heat money for the hospital. Yeah. As long as we can find four relics before we find a hospital, we should be okay. No rolls. That's good. If I can lock in the Jinx, I will. We do have double Jinx. We have Jinx on our Plague Doctor as well now, which is, like, I mean, it's whatever. It doesn't do anything for us, but, like, you know, who knows? The rancid crop grows unchecked. Not and going for the lair. There is a hospital. A li high likelihood we can get there and lock in uh, Jinx. We could also potentially roll off Resolute, which is probably more important, maybe. As much as I hate to say that. I mean, it depends how much money we get on the way. Familiar deaths could be good for us. Um, the Hoarder doesn't do much for us right now. We go for Familiar Desk, uh, Academic Study. We go for the Creature Den, which could get us more Mastery Points, or will get us more Mastery Points. You know, I don't know if Familiar Desk actually does give us anything great. Let's go for the... Uh, well, it depends on what everybody wants in this is. Do you like on Doctor Locked In? Depends on who we're going for, but I mean, Jinx, uh, Bloodthirsty, Breacher. These are all things that I genuinely would say are good things to have. This could be Collector. We do have to be cautious of that, so let's, let's make sure that we're taking that into account. Let's get our items stacked up as we want them. Combo removal is going to be very strong for us there. One Trephenim doesn't do anything. Trephine bar or whatever doesn't do anything for us. Richard, oh, you're talking about on Plague Doctor? I thought you meant, like, just what quirks do I lock in for um, at the Doctor? Uh, for Plague Doctor, um, I don't know. There's not many that are really, really good for her. Um, you know, uh, like armor smith is good, evasive is good, um, tactical thinker can be good. Uh, I mean, field surgeon is nice, but it it's unreliable. So, pillaging brigands. Yeah. Enriching them hasten enemies the world collapses. they're all gonna it's cutscene time baby cutscene hey the jinx is good though we we don't dislike the jinx so good to have you back flaggy boy and with more and more there's a very good chance that he's going to proc the extra action is he's gonna be getting hit an awful lot. Got to deal with all this weakness that we just got given here. So, goes said hey it's my turn again that doesn't proc more and more by the way or it doesn't proc it going because it doesn't count as his actual turn so hey Dartress how's it going dodge thank you six dead six dead all right That's pretty good. Did he? Good for him. Yeah, I think he did dodge both times, did he? A deliberate and clenching claws on Jinx is just of harm. Chef's kiss. When it lines up right, you get you know, stun and vulnerable and all sorts of other shenanigans. Always a good time. Okay. 
I was not cruise or not collector, so that's good. Money, we are at 34, so we will be able to lock in Jinx if we wanted to. We really think that's probably the best option, which it may be. Um, scouting doesn't do anything for us. A wheel doesn't do anything for us. This takes 12 relics from us for two combat items. Not good. We'll take the relationship. How goes the run thus far? It's it's going, actually. We're at a pretty good place. The only downside we have right now is just our relationships on flag. But we've defeated a lair. An elementary problem. We've... Oh, okay. So this, this increases our loathing. Up by one, down by one. That puts us back down to two. Go here, up by one, down by one, if we take the creature den. So that get, keeps us at two or puts us at three, depending. If we go this way, we're very likely to get increased max load. I can't max the loathing again, right? We have already maxed it once. That's all I can take. Um, we get another vintage collection, which is pretty good. And then we can lower the loathing here again. Um... I need to go to the restroom quickly, though, so I am going to do so. Um, but hey, you're all cool people, and I enjoy your company. Uh, so go watch some clips of my channel, and I'll be right back. It's a good time to go stretch, go do what you got to do, and I'll be right back. Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is fun and fair. This is a fun and fair game. That's fun and fair. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bananas go. Wah, wah, wah. The torch is low. Rat is a gambler. With this chant, we summon the shambler. <laughs> you ever get like a weird whiff of something and then it like changes the taste of something immediately? I think I just like got a whiff of something. Probably a fart. I'm basically just constantly pumping them out anyway. Oh my god. Yes, you are. Shelby agrees. I just fart constantly. I don't even know that it's happening anymore, if I'm entirely honest. Collector? <laughs> Fuck you, Collector. We're coming for you. We're gonna do it. How do I drink your coffee? I put it in my mouth and I swallow. Don't clip that. And we just read the loot, and the game's easy. Yeah. Go like and subscribe. That's what we call in the content creation world, a call to action or a CTA. And that's when I tell you guys that y'all bitches if you don't go to my tweet and like it. Let's face it, God is daddy. <laughs> Fill me with shit and kill me. Oh God, yes, hit me with your shit balls. Oh, hit me with your shit balls. Oh, hit me with your shit balls. Oh, I died to shit balls. <laughs> it smells like rotten feet. Or like gross feet. Mm. Cheers. Ugh. <laughs> Meat shouldn't be in liquid form. Oh, it's smoky. Oh. All right. Thank you all for the support. I, I really, really appreciate it so much. <laughs> How many guys are in this room? 
Oh. <laughs> you fucking dick weasel. <laughs> I appreciate it. Should probably do something else, but I really can't. There's his big attack. There, there's the big one. Just pass, stress me damn. Yeah, I probably should have done that, honestly. A master stroke. Oh shit. They just straight up ripped his tail off. What the fuck? I got I gotta okay, I need to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is some doesn't seem fair, bro. I mean, that's great, dude. What is wrong with my highway, man? You have so much dodge. Just dodge something. Thank you. Shit. Back in my day, I didn't have this hover shit for this TikTok shit. All I had was Vine. Six second long videos. That's all we had. I didn't have no one minute, three minute videos. Old enough to be your daddy. Oh, yeah? But we can just lunge into it. Oh, I didn't. Ah, I didn't move my team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a leper. That's, that's it, that's it. Okay, I'm really concerned about this. Ah, fuck! Jesus Christ. I don't know if there is something that changes semen color, but I, I do remember saying when I was a okay. kid, I was like, wouldn't it be We're back. Much better. Um, okay, we go for the resistance encounter. We, we take the fights, we get the loathing down. It'll be okay. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. Good time for the ad to come back, huh? I mean, I think if this, if any team could do it, it's probably this one. My damage is really my concern at this point. I don't know if we have the damage <laughs> to, to deal with, with the lungs. Uh, yeah. Now, if we get a disease on flag, that could be interesting. Enemy ambush. Great. Love how that worked for us. I, I can't move her backwards because for some reason he's immobilized oh right that's good that's gonna really yup this could easily kill us I had to waste those essentially. An unavoidable end. Okay, that was a really bad start for us. But we're okay now. Everything's all right. Yeah, times. Alchemist's health is Savory. definitely a concern. <laughs> it's a big old concern for me right now. But hey, now I've got a nice, you know, pistol shot lined up. Stupendous. That's great. Oh, where's my mouse? There it is. Let's go ahead and heal that bleed off of her because that's just scary on somebody so squishy. Give her a little regen. Classic. Love that. He loses his evasive here, but that's fine. Now I got regen on three people, so that's good. Clenching Claws doing some good work there. We'll go ahead and sepsis here. Get a nice big chunky heal. Problems have their solutions. Gets a little bit more regen. All right, everybody's feeling good. We'll go ahead and remove that corpse now, so that way Dinner Cart can't eat that when he feels like it.
I'd rather not go toxic right now. I mean, this team does have really good survivability. A lot of regen going around. Scary for a little bit. <laughs> yields morbid gains. The loathing festers. Uh, combat items, because we used up all of our thingamajig hickory bobbers there. Corpse clear is a good one. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. All right. Another fight here could most definitely be a collector. Every fight we take here on the road is risky for us. Death Ahead, can't spawn in creature dens, right? Bestial refuge. I really hope she can't spawn. I don't think she can spawn in creature dens. I think that would be a, a bug if remains. she could. Mm, and we get ambushed again. I have learned that ambush will always ambush you in the same way. Like, you'll always get the same shuffle depending on where your team's at. So, good resist overall, but um, not, not an ideal situation for us. Again, with the immobilize. Really screwing us over there. Um, I don't, I don't know what the right move was there. Just reversed order. Is it always reversed order? Is that what it is? Yeah, probably. It's good to know that like that's what it is, right? I really don't like my Plague Doctor in this position. She's very likely to die here. This yeah. is no time to falter. This is a this is a scary fight for us. This is a very scary fight for us. No. And Fuck. The greatest Good resist on the burn, but all. shit. Yeah. God damn, this game is just like, we're in good condition, but this game is just fucking us over right now. I don't think that's the right call. Bulwark right now. I need, I need to kill a corpse and move this thing forward, but... She's still in the danger zone. If she's got a blocks tokens, that definitely helps. There's some more regen. Yeah, she's at 10 regen right now. I think she'll be okay, but we'll uh, just go ahead and get rid of this guy. I need to upgrade double tap. I'm not getting... Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Okay. Besides stress, we're doing okay right now, but... Yeah, Sanguine has been carrying. Just slowly tricking away at the, uh... At the stress. Been super helpful.
That's good. Excellent was bound to happen eventually. Fight through the fatigue. Ugh, if we could not get another shuffle, that'd be really nice. I'd enjoy that. Okay, that was good. We we're, were able to recover that pretty well, but damn, dude. In this world, wealth is worth two shuffles in a row. Purpose. If that had been a collector too, we probably would have been dead. If it had shuffled us into a collector. Probably would have been game over, man. I really don't need those. Um, we already have one set and we're not getting any. I mean, we are getting a little bit of health benefit, I guess, but we don't have food barrels or anything. Like that would be what we'd need to make full advantage. Now, if we get like Tarantism or something here, we'll probably be okay for creature den stuff, but go for it. Rabies cook. <sighs> really? This is what we start with? Good hit. Don't daze him. Quad dodge, gnarly. Yeah. Good miss. That would have been a guaranteed crit, too. Kill. Plus, we got, we've got Sekiris, right? So that's good value for us there. We need to be... It needs to be more cognizant about the fact that we get kills with it. Like, I get a kill here, right? Block tokens Another and strength tokens and all sorts of other values, so... Take advantage of it. Of the stun, so that's good. Uh, I'll give her a regen. Sure. Extra action turns flag more and no more more spammer. Oh yeah, it's absolutely like crazy how much value you can get out of it. This peels off two block plus tokens. It's good value. Not the best value, but it's good value. Yeah, my guy just getting a thousand turns here. Doesn't know what's going on. Thank you for the lurk, Wiki. I appreciate it. Everybody should have pretty beefed up dot resists, right? So that's also good. Hey, Pork, how's it going? Game is feeling kind of like stuttery. Continues. I think we might be. I think there might be a bit of a memory leak. A slow dissection. 
an unavoidable end. Yeah, look at everybody's dot res. I mean, besides Flag, and he doesn't care, right? Like, he's like, whatever. I don't, I don't care about. Give me all the dots you want. The smallest variable can make all the difference. This is a strat for overwhelming value decks, which is just that overwhelming. Yeah, just like non-stop. Okay, so we have the oozes. It's not good. Do we get value out of um, Sickening Silence on him? Yo, what's up, Ilias? How you doing? Incremental, but deadly all the same. How you doing? The run's going well. We're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. It's been it's been a little hairy at times, but we've made our way through it. Nobody has tarantism, he has oozes. Did someone get tarantism? No, oozes. It's uh, if it was uh, I don't know, man. We've got really good trinkets on him though, that's it, that's the thing, right? Like he's got clenching claws, which is really strong, but is the is the blight generation that he would get better. He's not the one getting hit as often, but he does have regen, so... Or does have taunt, so... Messy. No, it's he doesn't... Fun oh, effective. oozes with apron? Oh, that's that's true. How often is it going to proc? Gone. Is that better than Let oozes on die. flag, though? Or um, apron on flag, though, right? The loathing whispers. It's a 15% chance to proc. I just think this is going to be better on him. Plus, it still gives him his own, like... Also, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> that needs to be on him. Um, it's like we could put this on him. Then we lose out in clenching claws. I think it's I think generally while Uza sucks and whatever, it's a he's going to resist it a lot. I, th I think this is better. Personally, I think it's better. Plus, the the lungs are probably going to resist a lot of blights and stuff. I don't know. I'd rather him just get the, the, the tokens are going to be really helpful. Blinds and stuff like that. Alright. Loathing is still at 2, which is good. We get... I do not need... I do not need all this stuff game is definitely very sturdy. One sec, I'm gonna reload the game. Let me get to the, let me get to the academic study that I'll pull, uh, the game is like chugging. Let me pull into this. Positive quirk. Um, oh man. I don't get the wine because he's got Tipler. Bon Viv is good. Okay. Um, unfortunate we don't get the one here. One second. I'm gonna uh, just reload the game here. It's just like chugging. I can like feel it stuttering. So I'll give it a second to just kind of reload the uh, reload. Sometimes you get memory leaks in this game. It's just one of the things about this game at times, you know. Katrine, how's it going? Welcome on in. Sorry, a few hours. Yeah, it's just it just happens after a few hours sometimes. Just a just a memory leak. A lot of games have them. It's annoying, but a, a, re, a reset usually fixes it pretty quickly. Full of the forbidden. And this is seated, so the, the, the outcome forgotten. is the same. Yeah, I mean, I'll take four straight. It's not the best thing that we could have gotten. We could have gone for the blood, and it might have been better, but like, eh, I'm fine with this. 
You know, four smelling salts isn't bad. It's good dodge value. I'm gonna keep sickening signs because right now we we have inventory space, so we'll you know who knows you might roll into choice. some okay hospital. At least right. it should be. I think hospital is the play. Oop. Even though everybody wants to go the other way, uh, we do get a, another oblivion tear. We should be able to calm it down after if we go for the hospital. This could end up being like a collector. It could be death. Yeah, so there's options that could end up, but we get the, we got to lock in Jinx, right? We got to think about the future of this run. And uh, Jinx is just too good for us to not lock in. Evasive is also very good, but Jinx has been giving us so much value. We can maybe get rid of uh, Resolute too while we're at it. Off guard is also maybe something we want to get rid of. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's lock in Jinx. Uh, we can't afford it. All right, that's fine. Still no burn cells. I I don't think you can get burn cells at these. I think you have to get the expanded like um, the expanded version of it. You know. Uh, let's just roll off oozes. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. Just weird. We've had what three, four hospitals, and we haven't seen one one once yet. I know we can get it with the expanded uh, if you have the the field hospital map, but it's just odd that we haven't seen one. How many burn holds? Is zero. We haven't seen a single one this run. Pillaging brigands. How do I find the knight? Uh, I have a whole video on it, uh, Ken, that you can check out. That gives a a guy. Uh, do I still have that? No, I don't still. Have, I, I do have a video on my YouTube that you can check out. That gives a step by step guide on how to get the knight. You have to do a whole set of quests uh, to do it. Um, it's my it's my most popular video, so you should be able to find it that way. Um. Might be bugged and doesn't burn you. Might be bugged and doesn't burn you. Oh god, that'd be that's interesting. If that's the case. Yeah, so that, that gives you a step-by-step -step guide if you just wanna figure it out or you don't wanna go through the process. But uh quick answer is you get quest items, and those quest items uh give you tool tips, read the tool tips, the tool tips tell you what you need to do in order to unlock the crusader. And uh then you unlock him and you profit because he's cool. All right, this is the story of a girl. Uh, uh, we're going to get hit. Everybody's going to get hit with this. Unlikely, most likely, so. Can't blind. Get the kill. Gives us more block. Ooh, you know what I could have done and should have done? I should have mag rain there. Mag rain would have stopped the plague doctor from getting hit. But hey, Jinx blind. Hey, that works. I will take that. Yeah, we're not doing the damage that we need in order to make the lungs stop being stupid. But you know, it is what it is. More, more, more. Here. We're gonna mag rain, get rid of the corpses, pull them forward. At least it only hits the front two ranks then. Uh, do I need the heal? Sure. Game speed console cheat. Now watching other people is like slow motion. Yeah. I uh, I I would do that, but I it kind of makes me motion sick. <laughs> when I watch people doing it at the increased speed. But I get it, like once once you've done it, right? It's like, ah, oh, man, it's everything feels slow after once you get used to it. I mean, if, you, if anybody's played since early access, you'll know how slow the game used to be. This is fast. This is like triple speed compared to how the game used to be, man. It was crazy. Still getting some stuttering. I, I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, it is what it is. Double tap may have been a better call there. Can you do it? You sure can. Good job. 
used to chug in the tangle. Yeah, they've Stop optimized it a bit, but it's definitely not perfect by any stretch. More. All right. Fight here. We need to lower the loathing. Um, cash is probably the best thing. We really don't need to go for Kyrogen. Yes, it'll give us mastery points, but we're going to get Spike Skullcap from it, and I don't care for Spike Skullcap. I think it's a so bad item. It has a chance to give you disease and stuff as well. It's just, it's just not fun. For one bleed? Nah. If you're running a bleed team, the crit can be nice. Don't get me wrong, but... Having a five sec delay through his action. Yeah, there are, there are a few bosses and enemies that still like when you. It's like um, Collector. When Collector gets guarded, when you hit Collector and he's guarded, he starts A posing. It's like, oh, okay. A brilliant conclusion. <laughs> Good job. Yes, jinx yourself. Excellent. Yeah, it's funny that it's still in the game. It's like, how's this not been patched out yet? I'm a playtester, and I don't know how it's not been patched out yet. So, like, come on. Come on, Red Hook. Get your shit together. Eh, Reap was really not great value there. Four. Ah, uh, we should go for the hit. Bravo. Eight. Uh, almost. The slow come on, buddy. Begins. Need you to resist those things. Eh, uh, you get regen. Nice crit. Ah, man. The, uh, the value we're getting out of readout is just awesome. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Have all your health back and some regen. Enjoy. Uh, kill will give everybody a block token, which is nice. Strength and a strength forward. token back here. And effective. We should probably make sure that we take this off and find some. We should try to find a better option for it, um, because in the in the boss fight it does nothing for us. It's it's just an empty slot at that point. Um. Do this. Just because then he doesn't take any more damage. We don't have to. Yeah, you know, he's gonna heal on the road anyway. But the work continues. Switching Grave Robber and Occultist Warlock in the backline sharp shot is pretty cool. It's working so far, but we'll see. How many death encounters so far? We haven't seen her once in the, uh, the last two runs. Will that change? Probably. We have seen Warlord. He, we got him in Region 1. Uh, but we've been really lucky with death so far. As in, we have not seen her. Fortunately, Warlord didn't give us anything good. So We've done Warlord, we've done Kyrogen... Uh, that's it as far as many bosses go so far. We don't have to worry about Exemplar. This will be a Cardinal, which is fine. But yeah, no death. And we will not... Well, we could still run into Collector. This could be a Collector right here, so... Let's not... Uh, let's not, you know, say anything too crazy. Scouting doesn't do anything. Combat Eye... Eh, we'll take Combat Eye. This be good for us. We should plan for death. We will, but we don't have to worry about her in this run anymore. She can only spawn in uh, resistance encounters, and we don't have any left. Collector, we have to plan for. Get Cardinal Region 2 and Act 2. But this isn't Region 2. This Mind is Region 3. They have nothing left we've to we've run Deacon, so it should be Cardinal. She can spawn in faction road fights? She shouldn't be able to. She should only be able to spawn Perhaps in resistance encounters. For you. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Perhaps yeah, you got the thing over there. Yourself. As far as I know, Perhaps death can only spawn in, uh... Here at all. Um... 
She can f spawn at faction road fights, really? Interesting. She shouldn't be able to, I don't think, but... Well, honestly, I think that's a bug. Um... I mean, the piercing is good. We definitely want to be able to land, especially with the ordainment. Do we have anything that's noxious? No. But we can probably find something that's noxious. We'll take it for now. We'll see. Do not need all this. No point in equipping it right now. I do not need the food. This does nothing for us. We'll take that. Okay. No, I'm sure you guys have proof. I'm not saying that you're wrong. It makes sense because the game probably treats um, faction fights as a uh, as like a resistance encounter, but she shouldn't be able to. The worst kind of parasite. Yeah, it probably just Not considers it a resistance encounter. Probably just pulls that information like from the game files, but she probably shouldn't be able to. Ouch! That's an unfortunate start for us. We do get oh, wow. Uh, re readout caused him to get his turn, so he just he just got the stun out of the way. It's like ah, I'll eat that. It depends. It would probably depend um, how quickly we can kill the enemies before death. Is probably how that would go. Coming. You may outwit them yet. Good. Like's gonna eat all of that for breakfast and then some. Ah, right, just a crit 29 heal. Casual. God, character's busted, man. More and more is broken. Stupendous. Dead, dead. Not dead. Well, he has a restorative item on him, so it increases healing given uh, with a restorative item, so the debuff isn't as strong on him. If you throw a restorative item on him with Apron, it really helps to kind of counteract any negativity that goes on with it. Yeah, he's Wonder. Wonder works the best for us right now. It lets us be mo the most flexible of him. An invariable result. At least I think so. We'll probably get some value out of the other ones, but right now I think it's working the best. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, if you're going for like, if you really want to lean into like a toxic build, like Scourge goes hard, man. The, if you can, if you can get him generating toxic over and over again, especially in a boss fight early on, it, it kind of goes crazy. Maniac, M Maniac's main value is just the flexibility. That's really all I see it. The only real value I get out of it is just like, hey, like I can put him in in rank three and still get the uh, the value out of him. The knockback is nice. I will say the disruption goes really, really nice. I don't need this. Heavy blight over support. Yeah, if you can get the blight generating, it works really well. Well, we we have had one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have had loathing go up once. We've maxed out our loathing once, so we'll uh, we'll see how we do against the final boss. I'm not super help hopeful, if I'm gonna be entirely honest. I don't think we have the raw damage we need in order to really take out the lungs here. But we'll do our best. I mean, this team is is doing as well as it can, so. All of Essel into him doesn't really do too much. He's just gonna. And obviously the stress is annoying, but if anybody's gonna eat the stress, might as well be him. Well done. Help much? Yeah, we'll see. 
Unfortunately, the, the biggest issue, even if we do put the damage in, the issue is really going to be that um, we've already increased the threshold now again on the tokens. At least I think that's... I Somebody has told me that maybe the, to the increasing the health doesn't increase the tokens on the lungs. I don't know the answer. Um, I've heard conflicting reports on it, so I don't know how it works for, uh, for this. Dead. Good. Victory supposes strategy. Press um, on. it's gonna get worshipped. So hopefully this misses. Nope. Steady yourself. Mm, crit hollow vessel. Seventeen front. They did change. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. Just try to counter some of that. Well, from Beacon, yeah, well, Beacon moves it up to, to 17 and 13. Um, but the the issue is we've increased our loathing, right? So I don't know, I can't remember if the tokens are based off of um, health and or if they're locked in. So we'll see. The source I have says 17 and 13. But who knows, man? I've been told different things. Because I'm using... Somebody made me this from their most recent go. It may have been updated, so... But this is from somebody who just did a Beacon Grand Slam. So they, they put this together so we can see what everything does. Maybe wrong. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Only increases the middle HP. Okay, well, that's good to know. Twelve nine is for non bastard speaking. What is it then that gazes back so intently from the abyss? He's gonna go. You know, what? we'll figure it out ourselves, huh? Let's let's play it that way. Malaise. Either way, I do not really have the damage output needed to be doing those numbers reliably, so we're just gonna have to see. Dead. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. It was toxic. Oh well. He's already borked anyway. <laughs> Math is not for Saturdays. I agree, Duchess. Relationships. Who needs them? Um... really needs to change the hollow vessel spam though it's just such a bizarre like thing that this one enemy can do he needs a cooldown he needs a cooldown he needs to be able to use um the one pleasant in the god i can't remember what his other ability is called this up the top of my head is noble no um necessary what's it called the one that gets vulnerable the low hits two festers. targets I can't recall what the other ability is called. Who needs relationships when you have pain? Flag, probably. Yeah, the problem is he's still fucking resolute. Tropic Star. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Why did I turn that off? That's not what I meant to turn off. I turned the wrong thing off. Yeah. The fire is lit. The table is set. Winky Thief. Awaits yeah. its favorite guest. Stair, Bon Viv, oozes. This gives us additional speed, but do we actually want the speed right now? We'll have to see. Not really. We actually want him to go slower. <laughs> I might I might take off the uh the pet. 
Alright. Hey, let's see. Do we have more meditative totems or skull tea or something? The end. No. We do not. Not the pepper. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can, no, I can't take off the pet. It's not the there pet. I can take off the, uh, I can take off the griddle. The griddle will reduce our, taking off the griddle will reduce our speed. We have pipe weed though. We do have pipe weed. Is that enough though? Do we have enough pipe weed? Do we? We could probably we can get one relationship out, right? So a two pipe weed, and we have books of amorous ballads if we really wanted to go that way. Let's just kind of. Ooh, we, there's also a heat shield in here, which would probably go very well on one of these guys, like here, because we're not going to be using Securus. Right. She's got 98 immunity. He's got 78. We gave it to Highwayman because he also has regen and healing built in. So like, that's gonna go hard on him. Um, use the PD item, yeah. So he could remove a negative perk that helps us out. Nope. Got rid of two on him though. Well. Playing cards as well. Ah, uh, we're gonna risk playing cards. Nope. Actually, overall, fair. Fine. Now we can do Swan and Flag to get them. There we go. And that'll also lower our speed, too. So. We drunk. Nope. Can't. It's blocked by Resolute. It's the only thing that blocks the wine. Hey, Kazine. How's it going? Risk it for the biscuit. We risked it. The biscuit was not worth it. Let's get him back up. It's going. We're here. All right. Uh, other relationships. Let's take a look here. Swan Bate. Yeah, I mean, honestly, him going toxic at this point is not the issue. The issue is, like, is, you know, rolling a negative relationship that gives us, like, random blindness and stuff. Like, that's really going to cause us issues. Bate and Zorthy. Get them up to 20 out of 20. Gets them to 100. Um, Swan and Bate. Pump these guys up. Go 20 out of 20. Got a double roll there. That's really good. Not use that one totem. There's no reason not to, but we can get rid of items. We just can't get rid of resolute. It'll always roll the one that's closest to the arrow. So we can get rid of nervous if we wanted to reduce speed here, which I don't really care about. Um, we can use it to get rid of a stare. It doesn't really do much for us. Neat freak doesn't really do anything against us. It rolled. Like, Tipler has caused us problems, and then that allows us to roll off guard next time. So, like, yeah, there you go. Sure, we'll take, we'll get rid of it. Is that how it works? Yes, that is how it works. Same thing with Skull T. Skull T will take off the one that's closest here, and then if it does roll a um, positive token, it'll roll the one that's touching the arrow here. Unless it's locked, in which case it'll go for the next one. Good to butt. Yep. So it does not roll random. I sometimes I wish it did. Other times I don't. It's nice to at least have something that you can kind of predict and be like, oh yeah, that'll work. I actually don't even want to use the whiskey here. Everybody's relationships are so good. They're all 20 out of 20 besides flags. So like, you know, he thankfully has Bon Viv, which is helping a lot here. 
Um, so we're, we have a 28% chance for one negative relationship. Uh, rolling whiskey is only going to cause us problems at the end of the day. Do we have a noxious item that we can buy? Nope, we do not. Not that I can see. I'll double check, though, because sometimes I believe I know what I'm talking about, and I do not end up knowing what I'm talking about. No noxious item here, no noxious item here. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Okay, so ring has no value for us. We get no value out of the ring. I think we're going to end up taking that heat shield for Dismas. It's probably going to be the best bet for us. We can keep it, uh, take it off, and not use it for the next fight. Um... We can use this for the first fight on the mountain. Um, and then, all right, while we're here, we're going to do a game giveaway because that's what we do here when we get to the mountain. It's time for a game giveaway, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up now. This is for a random Steam key, so if you'd like a chance to win a random Steam key, uh, go ahead and do exclamation enter to get on in. This is just my way of saying thank you for everybody hanging out during the stream. I very much appreciate it. We'll go ahead and do a giveaway at the end of the mountain fight, assuming, you know, the most... Uh, gonna happen regardless right um to get on in anybody's welcome to join you just have to be following in order to win so um if you're not following make sure you, you hit that follow button uh do we have has anybody got crazy stress nobody's got crazy stress so i don't care about that so at this point we have money what do we use it on we've got a soothing poultice we should probably grab that and use it something to ease the rigor finally got one uh who can this go on he's gonna end up with uh, plus 50. She's pretty good. So let's put it on Crusader, right? Gets him to 103. Flag doesn't care because he's just going to remove the burn himself. Um, so we're doing pretty good on the burn resist, which is nice. That's a good place for us to be. And then what do we have outside of that? We can throw in a Blasphemous Idol. My concern with this is risking that plus 3 speed. We don't want these guys to get that plus 3 speed. So we can probably throw it on uh, him. See what we get. He got the plus three speed. That actually works out fine. So we've got two fast er heroes, two slow er heroes. Um, we're okay on combat items. We don't have anything crazy going on. We could probably grab that healing salve. Toss it on. Since we have now we have five healing salves. Four move resisted items and fire resist onto everyone. I still lose. Yeah, unfortunately, if anybody's burning, they lose 100% move resist. So it doesn't really make a difference there, but... Uh, yeah, we're kind of hopeful that we don't get moved too much. We probably will because that's just our luck. I don't think we're going to beat... Like, I'm going to hope for the best, but I, I don't think we've got this fight in the bag by any means. The removal of wine will be nice. Um, it is what it is. You know, we've done really well outside of that, so... Uh, let's get our... We need our damage abilities upgraded so we can at least hope. Um... No, we don't have the damage, unfortunately. It's just one of those things. This team made it through Act 1, so... You know, we had to we had to roll with it. But you never know. We might make it work. I've seen crazier things happen. We just have to take the fight slow and hope for the best. That's what it boils down to. Lungs don't shuffle. They can. Well, they can't shuffle you, but they can knock the uh, somebody back. Is leagues away. Plan accordingly. This would increase our speed by 1 works uh, yeah. experimentation your academic instincts serve you well let's go I see a fun fact fun fact number 25 fun fact number 25 from the book of fun facts is only 12.3% of the world's population is age 60 and over yeah the lungs can't knock somebody back um Okay, should be all positive. While the heart still beats, I did the bottom. I don't know why I'm doing die. it this way. Amorous. Uh, unfortunately, none of them heal, but removing dots is still fine. Uh, strength tokens will be good for us on take aim, but not really that great. Yeah, nothing, nothing amazing. Is it Ray and Dismas again? Are they in love? Oh my God, they are. Ramus is real. At last, the great ziggurat. Axe besides too. Yeah, I, I would be better wreck. for me to do them out of order and um, work to the requirements of what's best. But uh, 
My brain won't let me do it that way, so I just don't. <laughs> My brain works in I have to do things in order. The lungs have action now? What do you mean action? knock back a hero? They can. They've always been able to. Alright. Get through this fight. Move on with my life. Good jinx. Good jinxing. Bravo. Yeah, seething sigh. Sorry, I mean, I, when I say lung, I mean, I just talk about the boss as the lungs in general. Okay, that works. I was like, uh. In crisis, we can rely only upon each Stops other. the worship from happening. Billion combo tokens on the right person. It sure can. It does help that we also have punching claws. <laughs> I have two jinxes and clenching claws. I have Jinx on the Plague Doctor as well. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. Does definitely help Act 4. Uh, we just rolled them. We just got lucky. I think we rolled them at the end both times. Reach from the second act. I think it's the run if I don't get cut by Shambler again. Yeah, Shambler does tend to do that. The Caliginous Cathedral. All right. Malign Let's see if we can do it. Iron Crown. You know what? I'm happy to have made it this far about a death. So... Oh much health, dude. 420. That's a meme, dude. It's a freaking meme. What a joke. Sundering exit. Yeah. And we're fucked.
Well, maybe not, but... 14 didn't do it. Don't miss. Okay. GG. That's it. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Uh, I love this game. Cooperation is the key. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm at this point. I've already just given up. Double crit helps. That's for sure. We've done a whopping like 30 damage. So. Ugh. Yeah, 420 HP because of the additional buff does not help our situation at all. Stupendous. Almost, I'm just mad that it's generating it in the front every time. Can we get a back line, please? That'd be great. I'd, I would really appreciate that. Hit through the blind. <laughs> if I could even kill this boss, I'd be impressed. Let alone not lose somebody. At least we haven't been burned, which is good, I guess. Yeah, the, the blinds have been, um, have been something, that's for sure. Oh, look, there's a back one. We're still in it. Somehow. Let's not waste the strength token right now. Oh, Ash. Yeah, okay. Miss. Nah, crit. Crit double blind. We've done not even 100 damage yet. <sighs> This is just silly. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. The fiend's strength doing not enough damage to stop that. Gonna have to ask the rain if, if I can even hope that that works. Take another Sundering. Hold fast, for who knows what lurks in the beyond. Also doesn't help that I haven't eaten today. I can feel myself not being able to focus well on this. The blinds are just absolutely fucking me right now, man. I just can't reliably get damage anywhere. That helps. Just enough to stop a token there. An unavoidable end. Still alive. What is it then that gazes back so intently from the abyss? Just 
Steady yourself. The crits are just nutty. Bravo. Lucky. to the front line for some reason. It's not enough. I need to do 11 damage. Oh, are you kidding me? I think that's one away. From it being enough. Collaboration confers advantage. Amazing dodge. Okay, toxic. Toxic doesn't hurt us, per se. It's not done there. Hell yeah, Aspen. Good job. Here's to many more. We're at like its normal amount of health. And there's a deep breath. Okay. It's not 12 on this, no. Beacon makes it larger. It's 13 on the back, we've noticed. Um... Not enough. Not enough. It's not enough damage. Coward is whatever, it doesn't hurt us. shallow breath. Thank you. I think we're doing all right. Empowered. Emboldened. Lethality writ large. What's the trophy? Uh, the one that the slumber, deep slumber, or whatever it is, stops us from getting dots as e easily. Six plus eight wasn't enough. Anxiety forms insidious fears. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's like, yeah. Safety of slumber, that one, yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Ripperoni, there's no way we can survive at this point. Yeah, 17, yeah. There it goes. Oh, uh, we made it this far. And an abrupt end. That was a pretty good team, though. Like, we had, we survived a lot longer in this fight than I thought we would. That's a brutal fight, though. Absolutely brutal. That's craziness. No, that was a seriously good run. We 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 did pretty good there. Feared by many. I don't think she had the death blow anymore. Humans ball, it's absolutely possible. Again, people have done it. Many people have done it. Terrible. We're not, we wouldn't be the first person to do this. <laughs> um, we just try different teams until it works. 
flag alone could probably win this, if I'm entirely honest, but... Unfortunately, once people start getting out of here, we're not gonna be able to do much. Just need the right team in the right circumstances. Overall, this is a really, really solid run. DDT, yeah. Um, he praises the sun has done it, and so has Mariner Hawk, as far as streamers go, that have done this uh, already. A breakthrough. Uh, definitely doable. any team low physical that yeah the damage is really what messed us up there we just didn't have a consistent way of dealing the damage we needed the <laughs> enemy yeah, see so you can't push it back still alive Stacking arms and there. See, there's there's counterplays to both those arguments. Because surviving is more important than not. So there are times where you have to use items early on in order to survive, which we definitely needed to do. I, I don't like saying that there's a, like a one way fits all with this kind of stuff. Like, because we've stacked items and lost, and then we've not stacked items and lost. It depends on the team and the circumstances. There's too many variables for it. To say one way or the other is the the right way to do it. Fragile sucks. Ah. Coward, can you can coward move back, please? That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. This is no time to falter. Flag is insane, though. Beacon, though. Yeah, it's just one of those things. You just have to kind of figure out what works for your team. Also depends on what items you get, right? Like, if we'd gotten soothing poultices and stuff, we might be in a better spot. If I'd gotten nightshade concoctions, it would have been a bit different. You know, it's it's all just dependent. Empowered, emboldened. Coin flip. He's still alive. He can do it. Peace. He can do 89 damage. Easy. No. All right. Team wipe. Ripperoni. It was fun. Unfavorably rounded down. That was that was a good run. I'm not I'm not even mad about it. We'll have to restart from Mac one again. But hey, that's kind of the point of this. There is nobility in the attempt. I think that was a really solid team. I think, obviously, there's a few things we could have played differently to make that work better, but hey, it is what it is. All right, if you guys want a chance to get in on that game giveaway, exclamation enter, now is your chance to do so, or forever hold your peace. Um, or, or don't hold your peace, do what you want to do. Uh, let's get some music playing. All right. And as always, I appreciate everybody being here. If you're not already following here, do consider it. I play Darkest Dungeon four days a week. We also play other games like Bellatro. Um, I want to start playing some Slated Spire. If you like that kind of stuff, hey, consider following. Super helps at the channel. That way you don't miss any streams. We'll be live again tomorrow morning doing more Darkest Dungeon 2. Starting our attempt over again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, who are you again? I have no idea, Duchess. I have no idea. Who are you? That's the real question. All right, let's go ahead and get the game giveaway done. We're going to close the giveaway. We're going to pick a winner, and the winner is Biggles. GG, Biggles. Um, go ahead and write you down here, because Bate isn't around to remind me. 
to who won. So congratulations, Biggles. GG's. GG's. All right, let's go find somebody to raid. I appreciate y'all being here. Um... Do, do, do. Yeah, good job. Speaking of uh, somebody who's actually done Grand Slam uh, Bastards Beacon Run, let's go raid. Uh, let's go raid Praises. Praises are good people. Uh, also, another great Darkest Dungeon 2 streamer. You should definitely go give them some some love and attention. If you're not already following them, you should be. They have done what we have not been able to do, which is a Grand Slam Beacon Run. There's a raid message if you'd like to, uh, to spam it. Anybody can do so. Those are global emotes, so anybody who's on Twitch can use them. Um, but thank you all for being here again. I appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next stream. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Bye-bye, everybody.